Hello and welcome back. Another week, another video. Last week, chili cheese, baked chili cheese dog, and I figured Matt has been wanting to do a variation on the chili cheese. Let me cut you off right there because I've been on this guy's case for the past few weeks when it comes to making any type of hot dogs. Mine professionally is Italian hot dogs. This is this is my normal go-to. Anything that whenever it comes to a barbecue or anything like that, you always want to go Italian. The reason I say this is because of all the ingredients that comes with and everything. With your chili 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 cheese dog, I, I appreciate everything you was trying to do with it, but you, you, you gotta let me introduce this one to the people. They're gonna love it. They're gonna love they it. They better love it because what you showed me, that stuff looked good, man. <laughs> exactly. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started on another episode of Cook! Don't, Don't be, be lazy. lazy! All right, Matt, so on this Italian hot dog, what, is it, what does it take? We're gonna go ahead and start off with um, your choice of pounds of when it comes to smoked sausage. Your choice of pounds? Your choice of pounds. It depends on how many people that you got coming over to your cook for. Your choice of pounds doesn't make any sense. Your choice of pounds. Why, why are we arguing about this? <laughs> how, how, how about we just like, yeah. How about you just let me um, show you how I, want, how I want you to cut it. Can all right, that, that okay. works. All right. Okay. How Good do we cut it? Cut. Let me show you. All right. All right, guys, so just to clarify something, because those of you who have been following this channel, he's turning on the stove. I'll ask him about that in a second. But those of you who have followed this channel for quite some time and have seen Matt on this show, you know that he loves his Cajun food, but this is an Cajun recipe. Now, uh, curious, what did you set the stove to? When it comes to setting your stove, be sure to set it on medium. Medium. What we have on the stove is a griddle. We were norm we were originally gonna make this outside, but it's hot as balls outside. It's Florida and it's, it's a hot little as, warm out there. <laughs> it's hot as balls outside. So we decided to bring a uh, griddle onto the stove. And you said medium, right? Set it to medium when you go to cooking the Alright. So it's not a Cajun recipe. Matt has a repertoire in his arsenal. And let me show you how he's cutting up his sausage. All right, so this is our flat griddle that we're gonna use. Let's see how he's cutting up the sausage. Now that we got these cut up, let's go ahead and get these taste on here. Oh yeah, sure, there we go. Oh yeah. Don't forget our two inch killer with a hook. That's what she said. That's not what she says about me. Oh, here we go. Let's get started with our vegetable. Vegetable time. So okay, so when it comes to our vegetables, we're gonna take one green pepper, one red pepper and one onion. Let's go and get these chopped up. All right, so it looks like we're slicing our onions and peppers into thin strips. All right, now we're digging all these sliced up. Let's go and get our red peppers going. Oh yeah, chef. Our green pepper. And last but not least, our onion. But we're not done there. We got one more. Let's go get our tater tots on the grill. All right, so we've got our smoked sausage. We've got our tater tots. We've got our bell peppers and our onion on the griddle. How long are we gonna cook this for? What we're gonna do is we're gonna let these like, at least let the tater tots turn brown. We're gonna like rotate them. We're just gonna keep a close eye on them. You heard it straight from the man. Brown it. Now that it's almost done cooking, let's go ahead and start throwing in our seasoning. First, we're gonna start with a little adobo. This is my favorite stuff right here. I'll put this on everything. I thought you put Tony's on everything. Uh, that uh, adobo is good stuff too, you know. Adobo goes a long way. Adobo goes from every heritage when it comes to Mexican, American, whatever, you know. After that, let's go ahead and start with a little garlic powder. You can never fail with garlic powder, by the way. Put that on there like that. And we're gonna let that cook for a little few minutes longer. All right, let's go ahead and get this off of here. So we're taking the food off the griddle. And oh, yeah. what's, what comes next after we take the food off the griddle, Matt? All right, once we take all our vegetables and everything off, let's go ahead with our pocket pita bread. Pocket pita! All right, now that we got our pocket pita bread, we're going to go ahead and cut it in half. And once we cut that pocket pita bread in half, 
we're gonna get us a nice little pocket just like that. Let's take our choice of cheese, which I prefer pepper jack because I like a little spice, you know me. We're gonna shove that in there like this. Throw it on the grill. And once that melts, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to plate up. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My version of Italian hot dogs. What do you think of it, Lionel? Well, I'm going to take this in a slightly different direction. What you guys don't know, and he doesn't know, that I'm going in this direction, is that Matt here, this is his kind of a goodbye. He's been on this show for the past year off and on, but sadly, Matt is moving away. And I'm going to miss him. You've been a wonderful addition. You've done a lot to help me. And I just wanted to say from the bottom of my heart, I love you. I'm going to miss you. And um, I'm glad to have shared this final video with you. It looks amazing. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And I love you. I love you too, man. Again, guys, again, guys thanks for following. And remember, cook! Don't be lazy!